Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at something which I think might be quite useful to you, especially if you run a directory website. So now imagine you had a directory of different services and you want each of those services to be identified by the category they belong to. In this example, we have the tutorials has a different color for the category label, which is different from the add-ons category and the templates category and so on and so forth. This could also be used when you have like different tiers of premium membership. So you have the gold membership, you have the diamond membership and so on and so forth. And you want users to be able to easily identify which category each service belongs to. And you don't want to have to rely on custom CSS to be able to add these background colors to each of these individual categories. You want to be able to do it visually using a color picker tool. If that's your case, then let's see how it's done. Here we are on our WordPress dashboard. Before we continue, there are a couple of things that you need to know. First, I'm using ACF to create the custom post type called resources. Then I created a taxonomy called resource type, as well as the meta field for the color picker called resource type color. You can see the color attached to the resource type taxonomy by going under resources, resource types, and then edit one of the taxonomies. Then here we have it that each of them have a different resource type color attached to them. Then we'll also be using Elementor Pro to create the loop grid as well as pulling the dynamic ACF fields into the loop grid. So now let's see how it's done in the edit page. So here we are on our Elementor edit page. My screen might look slightly different from yours because I'm using the latest features from Elementor, including the top bar experiment, but the features are still the same. So now let's go ahead and drop in our loop grid widget. If you can't find it on your page, that means you haven't activated it. You can go under Elementor, Settings, and Features and look for where the loop grid is and activate it. But we have it active already, so let's drop it into the page. The next step is to pick the template. But for this demo, I already created the template, so we just go and pick the template we created. Currently, it's pulling in our posts, but we want it to pull in the custom post type we created. So let's go under Query and then change the source from Posts to resources, which was the custom post type I created. Now we have the loop grid being pulled in correctly. But unfortunately, you see it's set to a static color, which is black for now. Now let's see how we can make it dynamic. Let's save this and then edit the template. I used the heading widget and I simply pulled in the post terms to populate the dynamic tag for the resource type taxonomy. So now let's go over to the background, which is under advanced tab and try to make it dynamic. So let's click the background. Let's clear the current color, which is black. Let's save it. Now we want to add in the ACF field. So let's go back to the color picker tool, click on the dynamic tags and try to choose the ACF meta field. Now in here, let's go over to the wrench icon to try to pick the key. The key was set to be resource type color, so which is the last one there, resource type color. And then let's publish it. And let's preview it on the front end. Unfortunately, it's still pulling in the black color which I chose in the beginning, not the different post type colors. So now how can we make it to actually pull in the post type colors? For this, we need one of two things. You can either go the free method or the paid version method. For the free method, we have to write in our own custom shortcode to pull in the post terms meta field. Then at the end of the video, I will show you an easier method if you have this nice tool that I use on most of my projects. So this is the code we're going to be using. I will link to it in the description below. We're just going to copy this into your favorite code snippets plugin. You can use WP code box, code snippets pro, WP code or whatever version you want to use. You can also just add it to your child theme if you prefer going down that route. So all you have to change are a few things, which is the resource type, that is your custom taxonomy, the resource type color, which is our custom meta field, which was attached to the custom taxonomy. You can find those values when you go over to your page. Let's go back to our ACF field, the custom taxonomy. If you edit it, you can see the taxonomy key, which is called resource type. Go back to your field groups, and then to the meta field that you created, you can see the name is called resource type color. So those are the two things that we're going to be using. So now let's go back to where we have our code saved. So now we just replace this with your 
custom post types taxonomy as well as your your taxonomy's meta field after that's done the only thing that we need to take from here is the short code name called cat color that's the name we're going to be adding to our elemental page so now let's go back to our elemental page and over here we'll click on the heading widget again this time let's remove the background color we created let's clear out everything save it and now we're going to go under attributes we'll be adding the short code as an inline element to the attributes because we can't use short codes within the background color if you try there are only two fields you can use in the background color which are post custom field as well as the acf color picker tool but there are no option for short codes so the only way we can do that is to go under to our attributes and then add it as an inline element so let's now click on the dynamic tag again then we will scroll down to site and then you see short code under the short code you click on the little wrench icon and then now you add the inline element so which is style we put the pipe symbol which will be converted by elementor then background hyphen color with the colon and then we put the short code name which was called cat hyphen color close it and that's it so let's publish it and then we'll refresh the page now as you can see everything is now being pulled in through the all the different colors are there the first one isn't pulling the dynamic tag i'm not sure why but every other one is pulling it in correctly and it will all show correctly on the front end so now let's add our border radius so let's edit the heading widget because the color is applied using the attributes it is applied to the outer wrapper but unfortunately elementals border radius and every of the settings here is applied to the inner wrapper so that's why the border radius that we set here does not apply to the heading widgets now we have to go and use custom css for this so we'll go under custom css and i already wrote it here so i'll just remove the comment and now the radius is back again because this is applied to the outer wrapper but the settings which are here the margins paddings are usually applied to the inner wrapper because elementor has two wrappers for each widget an outer wrapper called elemental element as well as an inner wrapper called elemental widget container before it finally has the element within so now that we have all that done let's publish it and now we can preview it on the front end now as you can see from the front end everything is being pulled out correctly so different colors the tutorials add-ons and all the others will be pulled on the right colors are being pulled in and yeah that's it but now for the easier method that i talked about we'll be using jet engine to dynamically pull in the meta field that we want let's activate jet engine and now let's go back to the page so here we are on the page let's go back and edit the heading widget again this time we will not be using the attributes so let's delete that and let's also remove the custom css now let's go back to the background and this time we'll be using jet engine so let's click on the color picker tool on the dynamic tags now you see that there are more options available to you so all we have to do is pick the term field then within the term field we just choose the taxonomy we want which is resource types then the field we want is a meta field and the field name is what we said in the beginning which is resource type color and then we we'll save it publish it and now let's preview it on the front end as you can see everything is being pulled through exactly as we want and we didn't have to write custom css to do the background color or the border radius everything is done visually using the elemental edit panel so now that's a way easier method to do all these and then you have no requirement for any code snippets if you want to use jet engine everything is done visually you will be happy and your client will also be happy so now if you prefer to use Jet Engine, you can purchase it using the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. It will really help me out and it will be quite easy for you to implement all these for your clients without having to write any custom PHP or any custom code by yourself. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like, share the video and drop a comment and I would like to know your thoughts about how to do this better. If you have a better method, please do let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.